Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu salam ala rasulullah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim. Rabbi shurah li sadri wa yasir li amri wa ahlul ukhtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Hilal sighting and Islamic dates, issues and solution insha'Allah. There is a lot of confusion on this issue and substantial efforts have been undertaken by a lot of brothers and sisters all over the world including the Hilal Siding Committee of North America and the Islamic Crescent Observation Project. Much of the work presented today can be found on the websites www.hilalsighting.org and www.icoproject.org. Let us proceed with the talk today. The outline of how we plan to proceed today, we discuss our motivation and goals. We talk about some basic information on Hilal sighting, calculations for the dark astronomical new moon versus calculation for the visible crescent Hilal, Amul Qura calendar and the Saudi Hilal sighting process, global sighting versus local sighting versus Saudi sighting, issue of Eid al-Adha date, Sighting and calculations, are they conflicting or complementary? Zone of uncertainty in calculations, naked eye versus telescope sighting, group versus solo sighting, number of witnesses required, size of matla, etc. And in the end, we summarize and conclude with some action items and come up with a solution, inshallah. What are our motivation and goals? Inshallah, we would like to have the correct dates for Islamic occasions including but not limited to the start of Ramadan, Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Fitr, etc. We'd like these dates to be acceptable to a broad spectrum of ulama, ideally to a consensus of ulama, inshallah. We'd like these dates to be verifiable by ordinary Muslim masses. We would like the Muslims to be united and mutually understand each other. And may Allah give us all this and much more. Amin. Some basic facts. The moon revolves around the earth when it comes in between the earth and the sun the completely dark side of the moon is facing the earth so from the observer for the observer at earth it appears as completely dark this is the astronomical new moon this is not the hilal the hilal is typically a day or two after this astronomical new moon or conjunction when the moon has moved further along its orbit so that at least a part of its the light of the sun which falls on it on its surface starts shining towards the earth giving a crescent shape the quran refers to the hilal with its characteristic crescent shape a shape which is likened to urjun al qadim in surah yasin meaning old and withered lower part of a date stalk the quran does not talk about the new moon which in arabic would mean qamar jadid it does not talk about conjunction, which in Arabic would be ikhtaran. Rather, the Quran talks about the hilal with its characteristic shape. And also the hadith about siyam abiyat, the white fasts, or the fasts which are close to the full moon nights, stipulates that these fasts are on the 13th, 14th, and 15th of the month. And if you start with the astronomical new moon, if you start the month with the astronomical new moon, then the days closest to the full moon would be 14, 15, 16. So this is another dalil that the Islamic new month starts with the Hilal and not with the astronomical new moon. Furthermore, the astronomical new moon corresponds to the eclipse. Despite more than one or at least one eclipses occurring during the time of Prophet Muhammad no evidence exists that he asked to start the month with an eclipse. So this is the first message. The new Islamic month starts with the Hilal, which is a visible uh, with the crescent kind of shape and not with the completely dark astronomical new moon which is conjunction. Where on earth would the Hilal first be seen? A lot of people think that the Hilal would first be seen in the eastern countries before the western countries. This is a misconception. In reality the earth is not flat, it is roughly spherical in shape and thus east and west are only relative terms. The Hilal could first be seen in just about any country, usually closer to the equator, along the globe. Once it is seen in one location, then as we go west, 
The sunset time would be later and later, thus making the hilal bigger and bigger and hence easier to be seen. Eventually, when we cross the artificial international date line, the solar conventional date changes and the hilal is seen next day in the countries beyond the international date line. Hence, typically the hilal would not be seen on a single date at every place in the world. Let's talk about the Saudi Umm al Qura calendar. This calendar in the 1950s was based on the criteria that the moon must be at least 9 degrees above the horizon uh, for the new month, uh, new month to start next day. Actually, this was a very good criteria and very close to actual visibility. Then, unfortunately, in 1973, it was this criteria was modified and the new criteria became conjunction before midnight at Greenwich or close to London. This was very, very far away from actual visibility of the Hilal and a very bad criteria. Then in 1998 or 1420 Hijri, the criteria has been changed again basically to moonset after sunset in Mecca and also in 2003 further slightly modified to take into account conjunction. So this is much better than the, than the conjunction before midnight criteria but definitely not as good as the original Umm al Qura criteria of the 1950s which was very close to visibility. So the current criteria is basically meant for civil use. It is not meant for religious dates. And the authors in Kenway Abdul Aziz City for Science and Technology know that even after the new moon is, is born, it must reach a, reach a certain age. And certainly moonset after sunset is not enough of a criteria for visibility. But they say this is for civil use, it's not for religious dates. However, unfortunately, this calendar does set the expectations and it leads to errors in the actual religious date as well. And again, it is much worse and I hope they go back to the, at least to the criteria they had in the 1950s, which is much better. Saudi Hilal Sighting Committees. In approximately year 1419 Hijri, the ruling council of Saudi Arabia, it ordered the formation of Hilal Sighting Committees, Lajnat Lairuit Al Hilal, due to complaints of errors in the announced date, dates. There are, uh, in, in, in each of these committees, there would be one member uh, from the Justice Department, meaning an Islamic scholar, one astronomer, one representative of the city go government, and volunteers. At the present time, there are about six such committees in Saudi Arabia, located near Makkah, Riyadh, Qasim, Hail, Tabuk, and Asir. And they use naked eye sighting, even though they may carry telescopes with them, but the official results are with naked eye sighting since Sheikh Uthaymin and others indicate that they are against the use of telescopes for official results. He means mentioned that it increases the takalluf or burden on Muslims which Allah does not want.